all right you guys welcome back to my channel this is shay so um i know you guys are probably wondering like what the heck is taking so long for her to drop this video and um i just wanted you to know that i had something prepared i did i even started recording i wrote this whole thing out about david and and jesse and all of these things and how both of them probably felt when the the prophet samuel came to pour the oil on david and all of these things and how his self-esteem was affected and the lord said no i said okay so i began to ask the lord because i've been asking him all day okay ever since i announced it i'm like okay lord what you want me to say about this whole low self-esteem series that we have coming up this two-part series what do you want me to say to your people and i didn't hear nothing <laughs> nothing okay and literally just up until now what time is it i think it's like nine at night <laughs> um the lord began to speak and so where i was putting together this whole elaborate thing the lord said go tell my people this one thing okay and this is the one thing many people clicked on this video because you know you've you're feeling right now in this moment or you have felt a bit of insecurity or low self-esteem you know male or female low self-esteem it does not discriminate okay when the enemy wants to play on who god called you to be he'll give you insecure thoughts he'll make you doubt yourself he'll tell you you're worthless he'll tell you you're fat he'll tell you you're disqualified he'll tell you you're too skinny he'll tell you you need plastic surgery he'll tell you you need a face full of makeup to do anything He'll tell you all of these things and play on your insecurities. But the devil is a liar. At some point, if you're in your flesh, you felt insecure, okay? And you've had self issues on the inside. Insecurity, self image issues, financial um, stability insecurities. That's the thing. People are like, well, what are they doing over there that I'm not doing? Like, why are they farther along than me? Like, why do I feel like um, I'm doing everything right and they're doing everything wrong? And it seems like they're being blessed with everything that I want. Like, what's up? Okay. So again, the enemy uses our insecurities to, ma to make us disqualify ourselves. Okay. For salvation, for um, um, financial freedom. We can talk ourselves out of anything. Okay, so that's all a part of self-esteem. And I told you guys before, I warmed you up um, early in the week. And I said, you are not everybody's cup of tea. Tell them people go sit over there. Okay, you have to be comfortable and secure enough in yourself and who God called you to be to say, I don't care. I mean, I love you, but you could go sit at somebody else's table. Okay, you could go and sip that coffee and that tea somewhere else. Okay, so that is a part of self-esteem. Knowing, you you have to know and be secure in who God called you to be or you will crumble. You will fall, you will fail. If people can't see you and they can't see your worth, then that's a them problem. Let, let, let the Lord deal with them. The question of the day is, y'all ready for this? Why do we care so much about what people think, okay? I was just using the, you know, the example about people and, and you will not be their cup of tea. Why do we want people to stay and sip our cup of tea? Like, why do we want them? Like, we literally like care so much about what people are going to say about if we make this move, what people are going to say if we do this or if we change the way we think for once. I used to be like that. That was an insecurity of mine. Now. I'm sorry. I said what I said. I did what I did. And now I'm here. If you don't like it, God bless. But I wasn't always like that. I used to care. I used to care so much about what people going to think about this. What they going to say about me driving this hoopty? What they going to say about me living in this um, um, poverty? What they going to say about me when I pull up and, um, you know, I'm broke or I don't have the money or something like that? I used to care. I used to care so much. And that was something that the Holy Spirit had to root up out of me because I cared way too much. Okay. And we, the people, why are we like this? Why do we care 
so much about what people think that we, we, we make every decision and we make our decisions, you know, revolving around what people think. And the Lord says, how long you going to serve two between two, two opinions, two gods? What did Elijah say? Yeah. How long you going to foster between the two? So some people are saying, you know, like, what does other people have to do with my self-esteem? Like, what does sipping tea and all of this stuff, like, what are you talking about, sis? Well, guess what? That has everything to do with why you're insecure. That has everything to do with why you think the way you do. Why you hate yourself. Why you looking in the mirror, can't hardly stand looking at yourself in the mirror because you worry too much about what people think. That's why. So that's why we're here. Would we feel this strongly about how we look at ourselves? Would we care this much about the money, the cars, the clothes, the jewelry, all of these, these things? Would we care this much if we weren't scrolling through social media all day? Would we care? Would we care this much about what, ki what kind of car we're driving? Would we care this much? Will we be so insecure about the car that we're driving? We're, we're scrolling social media all day. And then you wonder why you have no peace about your own situation. You have no peace about your own car. You're, you're blessed. You have a car. But because you're too focused on social media and what type of car somebody just got, you taking away your own blessing. They say um, comparison is a thief of joy. Yes. How did the enemy sneak that comparison in there? <laughs> Through social media, okay? It is it's full of, of idolatry and all of these things and worshiping materialistic items and all of these things, okay? And I'm not exempt. I used to be right along with them. We cannot be conformed to this world. We have to be transformed by the renewing of our minds saying, I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. You want to know where my happiness comes from? It comes from giving. It comes from being nice to people. It comes from blessing people. It comes from all of the things in the spiritual realm. It don't have nothing to do with money's cars and clothes and all of this stuff. Okay? And 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 body surgery and makeup, full, faces full of makeup. It don't have nothing to do with none of that. Okay? So why are we insecure? It's because of this. The, 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 the era that we're living in. If we listened to different music that didn't glorify smoking weed, drinking, popping perks, clothes, jewelry, cars. If we didn't listen to, to twerking music and all of this stuff that's filling our minds with clutter. If we didn't listen to this stuff, again, we wouldn't have low self-esteem. If we listened to things that uplifted us, that spoke life into us instead of a constant reminder of what we don't have, we wouldn't be uh, uh, feeling less than. So again, why are we so concerned with what people think? The answer is very extremely simple, okay? You need to be delivered from people. That's what the Lord says tonight. That is what the Lord says tonight. These people, my people who are called by my name, they need to humble themselves and be delivered from people. Re pray, repent, turn from your wicked ways. That all comes with being delivered from people. You have to be delivered from people's expectations of who they think you should be. They think you should be uh, married to somebody different or they think that you should have went to college they think that you should have uh, uh, been, been a ballerina I don't know they think you should have went D1 to football school but the Lord says da, 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 be free be free from people's expectations because it doesn't matter what these people think I don't care who they are mama daddy cousin grandma Sorry to disappoint you, but I have to go and do what God told me to do. I have to leave everything like the prophet Elisha. He said, I have to leave everything. But first, let me go and burn up this ox. Tell my parents goodbye because I got to go. I have to chase the thing and the person who I know fits where I'm going. I encourage you to do the same thing tonight. I encourage you to do the same thing today or wherever you are, whatever time it is that you get this message, do that. 
You can listen. I'm sure Elisha's parents had every expectation of him to own the farm and you know tend to all of the animals. And he said, "I know all of your expectations, but I'm sorry. I got a taste. I got a whiff of who I'm supposed to be in the spiritual realm, and I gotta chase that." I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, dad. I can't do and be who you want me to be. I got to go over here with it. I got to go chase the prophet of God. He's going to leave me a mantle one day. I don't even know that. He did it out of faith. And what did he do? He picked up the mantle. And, and then what did he do? He called on the God of Elijah. Yeah. This is why... I talked last night about the mantles in the earth. The, the mantles don't leave the earth. The mantles are here. But we're so busy being consumed with social media. We're being consumed and robbed of God's glory and his, and his purpose for your life. Because we're worried about who got what. Who's doing what. Who's going here. Who's taking a trip. We're worried about stuff that doesn't matter. So be delivered from people. Be delivered from the people who called you too fat or too skinny or said you too wide or said you not wide enough. Ta, be free from people who bullied you years ago. Be free from people who can't stand to see you progress against what they uh, had in mind for you. Ta, be free. Be free from feeling like I'm not beautiful if I don't have on caked on makeup. Be free from that. You're beautiful just the way you are. You're handsome just the way you are. Scrawny and all. Fat and all. Too big, too wide. All my shoulders is too wide. What? Who said? Who said? We going off of what culture says. Now, I'm going to get you into some scripture. What does God say? Because that's the mo most important part. But we take... Uh, social media and what they say and what culture say, Ta, be free. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 24, no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You may say, well, I'm not serving mammon. Yes, you are. If you're sitting up lusting after, after everything that somebody else has, their house, their car, their jewelry, their body that they paid for on a surgery table, you're lusting after surgeries and faces, new faces and facelifts and you got your seventh face and you're only 30, please, that's serving mammon. How can I get some money? How can I fix my body? How can I fix my, how can I do, huh, huh, huh. Because we're not pleased with how God called us. <laughs> We're not pleased with what we look like. We're serving mammon. We trying to figure out how, uh, listen, when I get my income tax, I'm going to get my body done. I don't care what nobody say. I know men now, men are going and getting abs put in. Like, no, <laughs> no, you cannot serve two gods. You better pick a side. That's what the Lord is saying. You better be delivered from some people today tonight whatever you need to be delivered this is a deliverance thing you need to be purged you need to lay yourself at the feet of jesus and get this thing free get your heart free get your mind free it's gonna feel so good to get the weights off of your shoulders i mean it's gotten so bad and i can't even really blame the sheep of god because even these so-called leaders who are calling themselves pastors and this and that and all of this stuff the leaders are even um, following culture and not enforcing the word of God. Yeah, even they are being influenced by worldly things. That's why I'm saying anybody who I call out on this channel, the Lord has ordained that. Why? Because they have not been transformed by the renewing of their minds. Some of your favorite leaders are out here doing it for the gram. And that's contrary to the word of God. Okay, so... It's, it's really not the sheep of God's fault. Where there is no leadership for real. The people are perishing. When people aren't being obedient, when people aren't in the school of the Holy Spirit, when they're not being taught properly, you lead God's sheep astray, okay? Uh, let's see. 
Matthew 6 25 it says therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on it is not your life more than food and the body more than clothing sounds a lot like today's society right where we just only worried about our image what we look like and how we popping up and how we showing up and how we show enough okay we are in the very last hour okay and it's so important for us to really understand this we're worried about stuff that does not matter god says listen be delivered from people that's what matters when you deliver from people that means that you can serve me wholeheartedly that means that you can be everything that I called you to be. That means that I can begin to show you who you really are. When you lose your life, I'll give you life. When you lose who you think you want to be, I'll show you who you're gonna be. That's the God that we serve. Okay, so be delivered from people in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna read you one last scripture. And I, I really, I didn't expect for this message to be so short. Like I want, I'm like, Lord, I'm going to do an hour long thing for the people and on self-esteem and self-image and how to heal and all of this stuff. And God said, I'm going to do you one better. If you tell them this one thing, then they'll get it. They'll get the memo. Okay. So one last scripture, Matthew six, and I'm going to go up to verse 20. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal it. Again, th listen, this is Bible from thousands of years ago. And they talking and speaking to right now. Oh, how wonderful the spirit of the Lord works. He spoke this to, to, to Matthew years, thousands and thousands of years ago. And it's still speaking volumes right now. He said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Thieves ain't coming to steal the, the souls that you're bringing to the Lord. Thieves can't come and steal your crowns, okay, for your obedience and doing things properly and, and according to his will. They can't steal that, but they can steal them, them, them Chanel bags and they can steal that jewelry. Your car is going to rust at some point. Okay, all of the things that we think we care so much about, they don't matter. Okay, because listen, people in this earth and their mansions and all of this stuff, them people so unhappy. Why? Because they even need this message to be delivered from people. Okay, because they're trying to outdo and outlive the next man, uh, person with a mansion. They're still comparing themselves, even at that status. So don't be ahead of yourself. Don't let this stuff consume you. Be delivered from people. Moses, a servant of the Most High God who spoke to the Lord face to face. If he cared about what people thought, okay? what If he cared about what Pharaoh thought or what the children of Israel thought or what any of them people thought, he would have never accomplished what he was supposed to do in the earth. Nehemiah. If he cared about what people thought, he would have came down off the wall when they said, oh, just come down, Nehemiah. Come down off the wall. Stop building this new wall in Jerusalem. He said, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do in the earth because he knew he was secure in who God called him to be and what he told him to do. We don't even know who we are, let alone what God wants us to do. Job. He would have never received the double portion had he listened to people, his own wife. He said, you better curse God and die. That's what I would do. Okay, a lot of people talking about what they would do if they was you. Don't listen to them people because they're not you. How are you going to give me advice and you ain't never been where I've been? You're not going where I'm going. What are you talking about? Be delivered from people. Okay, who next? Who's next? Paul. He would have never been an apostle to the Gentiles if he was listening to the Jews. He was a Jew himself. And listen, if he listened to people, the people who he used to crucify the Jews with, if he listened to people, he would have never been a Gen an apostle to the Gentiles. Most importantly, Jesus Christ, our Savior. If he listened to the people, 
if he was insecure in his mission, if he was insecure in who he really was, if he was like, am I the son of God? I don't really know. If he was insecure in him, he would have never made it to Calvary. He would have never died for our sins. For all he was dealing with, this man was bleeding and sweating blood. He, how you sweating blood? At that point, some people would have folded under that type of pressure. And he still made it to Calvary and died and fulfilled his purpose in the earth. So I'm here to tell you, stop caring about these people. These people, ain't, they don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. You better cut it out. Repent, turn from your wicked ways, love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. You can't love your neighbor. Why? You're still racist. You're hatred. Why? Because you don't love yourself. It's a self thing. We're talking about low self-esteem and, and um, self-hate and all of these things. Yeah. Where did this stuff come from? Why do I hate myself so much? Why do I hate myself? Why am I doing this? Everything boils down to people. Be delivered from people. So God bless you. I love you. Talk to you guys soon. I really hope that this message helped you in some sort of way to get the get free from the people. Okay. Um, I hope that this really put everything into perspective as to why you think the way you do, why you do the things you do, why you say the things you say. I really love you guys. If you want, you can email me at speakhervoice2, T-O-O, -O, at gmail.com. I am with you guys. I love you guys. I'm fighting with you guys. I'm constantly keeping you guys in my mind and in my prayers. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for part two of this series, Low Self-Esteem, Self-Hate mini series is going down. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon.